Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial of SiteGround. My name is Mauricio Helves and today I will show you the many ways you have to deactivate all your WordPress plugins. Let's begin. This is the most simple way. If you can access to your WordPress admin area, go to plugins and then click in deactivate in the selected plugin. Or you can also select all the plugins clicking in the upper or bottom checkbox, then select deactivate from the drop down menu and click on the apply button. To disable all the plugins using your database, go to PHP My Admin in Site Tools and select your WordPress database from the menu on the left. Browse the table WP options and find the option Active Plugins. Click the pencil icon to edit the table. To disable all plugins, delete the code and click on the Go button to save the changes. Note that this table may have a different prefix instead of WP underscore. Disabling the plugins in this way will not delete them from your WordPress application. They will be simply deactivated and you can easily activate them once again from your WordPress admin area at any time. You can also connect to your account using SSH with the command line and then use the tool WPCLI that is installed by default in all of our accounts to deactivate all the WordPress plugins. You can list all the plugins with the command WP plugin list. To deactivate one plugin, use the command WP plugin deactivate and the name of the plugin. Or if you want to deactivate all the plugins, use the option WP plugin deactivate dash dash all. To reactivate them once again, Use the opposite command, WP plugin activate dash dash all. The plugins should be disabled by renaming the respective folders only as a last resort, because this action can cause many issues after the plugins are enabled back, for example, data loss. That's why I recommend, if you want to try this option, to do a backup before making any changes. To deactivate the plugins using this technique, Go to the file manager of your site, then go to the plugin directory of your WordPress instance and then rename one by one the folders of each plugin. To do so, right click in the folder and select rename. When you try to load WordPress, it will look for the original name of the plugins, but since you changed them, it won't find them and will mark them as disabled. After the verifications, you will have to rename back the plugin folders and then reactivate them using the WordPress admin area or the WPCLI tool explained in the previous step. I hope this video helped you. If so, consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about our tools and many other content we have for you. Thank you and good luck.